Hey guys, this is Taylor from Sneaky Evil Spawn, and today I'm going to be making a tutorial on how to install Griefcraft for Windows. I'm using it on. It doesn't really matter what version of Windows you're on, but uh, I'm on Windows 7. So what you're going to do is uh, go into your internet and go to this website. I'll have a link to it in the description. And you'll get here, and you're going to scroll down. Nice banner. And what this mod does is gives you a ton of different things to use for griefing uh, on servers. And I guess you can do it on single player too. But um, look at all these features right here. Everything that you could possibly do with this mod is here. There are a ton of things you can do. God mode, kill aura, sneak, permanent sneak while ro um, moving normal speed, fly, wall climb, speed hacks. I mean, there are a ton of things. Radar. So uh, you can keep scrolling down. And then uh, at the bottom of the, th the first post is downloads right here. And you're going to need an account, but I set up an account already, and I'll let you guys use it, so actually I know it's annoying to set up an account. But I, you're going to click it, and right when it downloads, it should download pretty fast, because it's not a big file. Uh, open it, and you're going to need WinRAR to open this. So I'll give you the link to that in the description if you don't have it, or don't know what it is. And then you're going to go into this folder, but you're just going to put this aside for now. You're going to go to Start, My Computer local disk C or whatever your main hard drive is and then scroll down to users and then whatever your username is I'm mine's Taylor and then app data roaming and dot minecraft and if you didn't you didn't see the app data folder because it was hidden you just going to go and start and type run and then type in percent app data percent and hit OK and then this roaming folder will open and you just click in minecraft so then once you're here, you're going to go into bin, and you won't have these two folders, but everything else you'll have, and you'll see this Minecraft file. You're just going to delete it, and take the one from the RAR file that I, from the website, and just drag it in. And you should have it, and we'll do a test to make sure. I'm going to log in, and it's working. You'll have the new main screen, and all the mods will be in there when you get in multiplayer it works for multiplayer and single player so i hope you enjoyed watching this i'll be doing a an actual gameplay of me uh griefing a server and i'm my little brother david might join also so thank you for watching